let's create this newsletter sign up form here so first of all you have to navigate to the wp forms that we have installed before starting this website creation tutorial and uh, not before at the beginning so create your form here just click over here and let's take a look at just your email address and subscribe well so here you can see newsletter sign up form view demo you can view demo mm, okay so I, I do not like this opt-in form let's uh constant sign up okay let's create a blank form newsletter sign up form and just create a blank form from here now add a uh, email address that's all just email address and copy the text from here enter your email address and subscribe button it's already there and you can hide you can always hide the descriptions and level here if i go to advanced hide the level and here you can see the placeholder text and also change submit to subscribe go to the settings and here you can see the button which is submit change it to subscribe and it's subscribe subscribe bing well and everything seems to be looking good here click save and let's make it to two column and see how it looks copy and here you can see use short code i'd like to use short code here reload the page let's see whether it's working or not uh, or if they have a new features for elementor then we can use that one also let's add a minimum height 400 pixels is enough change the background image with a very beautiful scenario here i think this one bg image and change the text uh, which is a newsletter sign up so before adding the text i have to paste and see whether it's working or not wp forms is available here let's change it so this form is coming from essential add-on elementor let's uh, make it more nicer let's make it center okay somehow the center alignment is not working it should work but i'm not sure why it's not working here mm. <laughs> input area placeholder it's a bug i think uh, from their end so technically it should work but i'm not sure why it's not working as expected if it's not working no worry we can change the color only at this moment and we can always uh, change using our custom code custom CSS. so newsletter sign up form which is the text here we can make it this text we can hide the head title here hide the title and add a heading here call it something like this make it white to visible and um, make it h4 to see how it looks add another heading newsletter sign up which is h2 make it center and change the background color to white uh not this one i'd like to use this one somehow this is not working 
uh, center from here maybe I have used here another setting that's why let's let's remove this one let's remove the class from here click save change I do not want to uh, divide this here and make the email large the field should display large here in general um, okay so it looks good now let's save the change here and click update to see how it looks okay it looks like this and make the necessary change very quickly here transparent and border radius okay so i'm going to change it very quickly here label field descriptions um input and text area background color should transparent and okay the border radius should 20 pixel not 20 10 pixel and the type should solid which should one okay the border color yes yes it's working padding top 20 bottom 20 left 20 why i didn't use 20 at the before let's use 30 pixel okay it, it's it's way bigger now uh change it change the submit button style from here to make it little nicer background border radius 20 not 20 it should 15 and uh, margin top no need to use margin top i should use padding at least 30 pixel and then right top 25 pixel bottom 25 pixel left 40 and right 40 pixel still looking very big i would like to keep same uh, the button padding and also the top input field padding similar it looks similar and much better so if i go to submit button change the hover color to completely white color let's have a look it looks good now and uh, unfortunately the form doesn't work here okay it's working right now now if i want to change the submit button alignment here it's also working and i could make it full width which looks really great here i personally like this one and uh, make the border radius similar to the above field make it 10 pixel i think it looks similar now it looks similar and click on update and also you could uh, make this little smaller if you add some margin not top if you add some margin uh, left 40 and right 40 you could add more here so this is how it looks and that's all from mine i hope after watching this video you will be able to easily complete this home page on your end thank you so much and i'll be creating the next page on the next video have a good day bye